So Nike recently released a pair of running shoes called the Zoom Gravity, and I have never seen this shoe before, and honestly surprised we haven't heard anything about it before, but uh, it was only $90, grabbed it on Nike.com, and I wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on the new model. What is going on guys, Hess here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Today's video, again, Nike Zoom Gravity and $90 is it for retail. And this is a pretty sleek looking shoe. It is a Nike running shoe and it does have Zoom technology in it, but it is only in the forefoot and I believe it's only in this little section right here. So honestly, it was very interesting when I wore these shoes because I literally opened them up and then threw them on feet and went on a run with the kid. Anyway, I wore one of those, and then I also wore one of these, which is the next closest thing that I could see, which is the Pegasus 36. And the Pegasus 36 is 120, I believe, for this model, and then the Gravity is only $90. So $30 difference between these two, but I will tell you right out of the box, like there's no question on feet, this Pegasus uh, 36 is much more comfortable than the Zoom Gravity. The Zoom Gravity is one of those shoes that looks really good in pictures, in my opinion, because I'm a fan of the sleek looking style and the crazy widow's peak on the back. It is a little bit narrow, but regardless of that, it is a really nice looking running shoe. I mean, it's just aesthetically a really beautiful looking shoe to me. This to me reminds me of a shoe that you would see at like Famous Footwear and you go, whoa, that's a kind of a cool looking shoe. And then you see and realize why it's at Famous Footwear because it's kind of like a, a dumbed down version of a lot of the other shoes that we have on the market. So the one that this one reminds me of the most of on the market is the Pegasus Turbo. The overall look of the shoe looks pretty similar, but there's definitely a huge difference between the Pegasus Turbo 2 and the Gravity. But it's literally half the price though. These are $180. These are only $90, but it feels like a budget shoe in hand. The upper itself is a little bit stiff, a little bit firm. Then it has like a cloth material over top of it. So that's like kind of laying on your foot. You have a little bit of a, uh, it's kind of like Hyperfuse. It honestly feels like cheaper than Hyperfuse even. You have the big off-centered Nike swoosh along the side and it just says zoom right here in the front. Then you do have what it would appear to be dual density foam with the blue and then the white, but that's not the case in this one. On the Pegasus Turbo though, this is actually React down here where it says Zoom X and Zoom X is actually on the top layer of the midsole. So this is a true dual density foam with React and Zoom X. And this one has generic foam material on the midsole in both the front and the back sections and the top and the bottom. It feels a little bit soft and squishy, but not as soft as React. As you move your way up to the tongue, even the material on the inside here is a little bit like a cheaper felt type material and feels a little bit rough on feet, nothing amazing at all. And so you can see the comparison between the Pegasus 36 and then these guys right here. It's just, a, again, a cheaper material. No real crazy harm though. I mean, honestly, it's not terrible, but uh, immediately on feet, these are more comfortable uh, with or without socks. Actually, I wore them both with and without socks just to see if they were more comfortable. This is definitely rough on your feet. This one's actually palatable. You can actually do this one without socks and just be fine. Pegasus Turbo as well. You can honestly wear these ones with or without socks and they're comfortable. Obviously, you're not gonna go running without socks, but if you're just walking around the house or whatever, you can do that. So the insole is not removable on the bottom. There is a big Nike swoosh on the bottom down here though. You can see the lacing system. It's just kind of standard, nothing too fancy. And it weaves back and forth and then there's a little bit of extra lockdown on the tongue section. I do like that the tongue has wings on both sides so it actually holds in place pretty good and doesn't move side to side. And this one has a symmetrical tongue. So you can see there's a middle section that's bigger than both of the sides. And as you can see with the Pegasus 36, it's not something we've honestly seen too much of. They usually have it shape and conform to your foot in some way, shape or form. Same thing with the Pegasus Turbo. And then lastly, the traction on the bottom of the shoe, it's, it's an interesting traction pattern. And honestly, it's a little bit weird because you have exposed foam on the bottom of the shoe, but it's not React foam. It's just again, like Phylon or something like that. Nothing really fancy. You have a little bit of a traction pattern across here in black, and then you also have the zoom unit underneath, I'm assuming the blue section here where it says zoom. They only have four foot cushioning for zoom on this shoe and there is no zoom on the rear. I will tell you from walking around and even just running around with the kid, like you can definitely feel the full length zoom of the Pegasus 36, much, much more than you can in the four foot zoom in this uh, cheaper model right here. So these are not like an uncomfortable shoe by any means, but they're just not like one that you try and go, ah, this is really comfortable. Personally, I get that feeling every time I try on the Pegasus Turbo though, or the Turbo 2 in this case, like as soon as you put these on, it's instant squishy, cloud-like feeling on the midsole, super, super comfortable, 
and you know you're running on something good. The Pegasus 36, again, you feel the responsiveness. It's a lot firmer though. But the gravity though feels like more of like a cheap mall version than the other models that I've talked about out here. So did the Zoom Gravity meet or beat my expectations? I mean, honestly, it's a $90 shoe at retail. So the overall looks of the shoe, I was happy about it because they look dope. But is it worth 90 bucks? I mean, yes, if you're on the market for a $90 shoe and you're only about that retail life, this is a great shoe for 90 bucks. But I will say that you're much better off spending the extra money, especially if you're running um, in this shoe here, the Pegasus 36. And even better, you could get the Pegasus 35 for under $90 on the open market and the Pegasus 35 has the exact same full length zoom midsole as the Pegasus 36. So my mind just spend 60 or 70 bucks on the Pegasus 35 and then you'll have a much, much more comfortable shoe than you will with the gravity. So if you can afford the extra though, I would go with the Pegasus Turbo personally or the Pegasus Turbo 2. Pegasus Turbo you can get on discount right now. Pegasus Turbo 2 I've seen as low as 150 on sale already. I can't say enough good things about this shoe. It's my favorite shoe of the year so far, new sneaker model wise. Uh, that's the video though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment in the comment section. Have you tried the Nike Zoom Gravity or not? Is it a shoe that you were not interested in before or one that you saw and you just wanted to click on the video since you wanted to see if it was worth your money? I don't know if I've persuaded you one way or the other, but uh, try them on if you get the opportunity. That's the best thing you can do. Then you can get the sizing correct and everything else. For me, they fit true to size. I got a nine and a half. I wear a nine and a half usually, but each their own. So go try them on in the mall if you can or wherever you can find these at. But, uh, but that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. We will catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace guys.